Good evening everyone and welcome to Rewind Theater. Tonight's game we're going to be featured in uh, Rewind Theater is a bit of a cult classic. It's called Goat Simulator and this game has ha held a special place in my heart now for well a couple years. Uh, the game originally came out on PC on April Fool's Day of 2014 no less. And the, uh, the whole f reason why I probably chose that day was the game was actually was Intended to be a joke. It was never intended to be a real game. Yeah, yeah. Well, they wanted to do was make a game where you just had to go around and destroy stuff and create all kinds of chaos, havoc, and mayhem. Which is exactly what the Enix succeeded on doing. The game has spawned several uh, uh, spin-offs like uh, Goat MMO Simulator and Goat Z. And uh, the game has been published on Linux, Macintosh, PC, Android, iOS, Xbox One, X Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4. It just came out on PlayStation 3 and 4 uh, se September of last year. But uh, the history of Ghost Simulator begins as uh, a few years ago, Coffee Saint Studios was taking place in a lot of uh, game jams, and uh, if you don't know what a game jam is, uh, if you ever get interested in uh, you know trying to join the game industry, game jams are a good place to go and have fun and learn about making games. Usually, what happens at a game jam is they you know, break everybody off into teams, and each team gets like. A a particular subject or a topic they gotta, you know, make a game about, and they get a time limit to make, you know, uh, as, as much as they you know, can about, you know, and, that, and with that frame of time about the game. Uh, this particular one, it started off with this, you know, game was about, you know, go, uh, particular game jam was about, you know, Go Simulator. You, you copy things to use, made a little, uh, quick little game where all you did is run out as a goat destroying shit and, and you know what it took off because what happened was after the game jam they turned around they posted a video of this ghost simulator and everyone ate it up they're like dude we want to play that they're like it's not even a real game and, you know but and more and more people it kept asking them to make it so you know Sure enough, they eventually made the game, and you know, just to see if it even sell. And sure enough, it's you know, it sold so well. It, like I said, it's it's been on so many different platforms already, and the game and yeah, never stops being fun. At least for me, some people get bored with it after five minutes, but it's it's one of those things where you you enjoy going out, you know, you know, cr you know creating mayhem like in Grand Theft Auto or those kind of things. Or you don't. It's, it's all there is, all there is to it. As you can see here, we've been uh, I've been playing on the very first map of Goat Simulator. Uh, they eventually added a second map to the game, uh, which we ha what I haven't had a chance to, be able to show you at all yet. Is there's also as you unlock achievements in the game, you get the ability to, to modify your goat, add new abilities to it, and we're gonna take a look at some of those quick abilities right now. Let's go, mutators. Let's start off with double goat. And uh, you know, with ghost meter, you, you know, you, you different buttons you have. You have jump. You have headbutt. You you, you stick your tongue out and grab a hold of things. I see here. I find something I could and get a hold of. There you go. I grabbed that lamp lamp post. So now I'm gonna drag it along with me. And last but not least. You get a special button that works on that works on you know, on each one. Uh, each uh, ghost you know, mutator does a different thing. This particular one, I forget what it does, but okay, let's go go down to jetpack. All right, now this guy. Oh, did I turn it on? Nope. Jetpack mutate. All right. Now you, you look, notice my goat now looks, he's got double horns and he's got this big honking jetpack on him. 
Ooh, and I got hit by a car, and I, t I, I, I turned on my jetpack and went flying. As you can see, you never know what's going to happen in this game. I just hit unlock something called Reach for the Stars, and then you're flying around. And then coming back down the earth. And uh, we turn off the jetpack. And go flying. Uh, and then I land again. So, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, there's like 20 plus different type of you know, mutators you can choose. Uh, another common, another uh, uh, fun one is, yeah, you know, we take off that one, that one, put on an Italian, you know, dinosaur goat, and, uh, dead goat. You can mix and match them sometimes, you never know what's going to happen. Oh, got to apply it. Alright, so we take off the, you know, sorry folks, you know, taking me a second to get this control down. Alright. Alright, Italian dinosaur goat. Um, I think I'm longer than I expected to do with technical difficulties. Alright. Mutate. Alright. I don't know what's going on. It's all of a sudden slowed down quite a bit. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a pop on over to the second city, and we'll play with the mutators more there. There's your first city. It's just kind of this little, you got a handful of houses, a construction site, a gas station, uh, a pentagram for summoning. Hmm, I don't know what. Yeah, I guess you guys want to find out if you play. And then there's got like a giant boulder you can go knock around, and all kinds of like, extra secrets. Now we're going to go to Goat City Bay, and we'll break out the whole dead and uh, uh, dead goat set. And and put it on, and we'll get started. Yeah, dead goat is a play on dead mouse. Uh, you may have, you may not have heard of dead mouse, but uh, dead mouse. But uh, if you have, cool. If you haven't, oh well. <laughs> I don't know much about it myself, but hey, as you can see, my guy's got this big giant honking mouse head on. on. And it's kind of creepy looking, actually. Especially when you, know, when you think about it, it's sitting on top of a goat. But as you can see, just quickly looking around, you're on a road, and you're actually in, in, in an actual city in this time, instead of out, you know, some, you know, the hills and, you know, whatnot. You know, you run around. You you know, you'll notice uh, there's even a uh, music park over here. There's actual you know, water you can climb into. There's boats out there. There's buildings you're gonna get get on top of. You know, tons more secrets. You more than the, you know the first map by far. Let's go here and play in the playground for a minute. And oh, and just jump in the water. And what do we what do? I do? Yeah. But uh, so Ghost Manor is something that's you know, very, you know, very you know, near and dear to my heart. Uh, I wish I could be able to stream it on YouTube, and uh, but apparently the uh, game doesn't let you stream it on YouTube. So I will do a stream later on next week or so, folks. Uh, I'll do like an hour long stream and. Uh, yeah, try to show you a lot more to the game. Try to show you the mutators, but uh, and you know, with, with a little bit less technical hiccups. But anyways, guys, uh, this is Rewind Theater uh, Goat Simulator. I hope you check out this game. It's always a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoy uh, uh, and listening to this. And I'll see you next time.